the world of dairy farming is really starting to change. Uh, dairy farmers have always looked for efficiencies in terms of, of uh, you know, improving their output per unit of labor. Uh, but traditionally, that's always involved uh, building a bigger machine so that the man on it could accomplish more. And that has always, that kind of mechanization has always led to larger farms because the bigger machine is only justified and gets enough hours in on a very large dairy. And so uh, until now, we have seen a fairly rapid increase in dairy farm sizes in North America. Uh, what the, the change that I'm seeing now is that uh, robotics uh, is essentially taking the man off of the machine, whether we're talking milking or feeding or whatever. Uh, and that makes it possible to reduce labor on a much smaller scale operation. And I think this is really creating a resurgence in profitability for the family farm with uh, two to 300 cows. Well, we have sensors that we mount on the cow, so they would monitor, well, first they would identify the cow so that we can collect information from her. But there are sensors that uh, actually with a microphone will record the, the, the chewing sound so that we have a measure of her rumination, uh, which is a, a good indication of her metabolic health. Uh, all the same kind of sensors can monitor uh, body temperature. Uh, we can monitor activity, and so uh, if the cow is uh, ready to be serviced or to be bred, she's much more active than normal. Uh, and so that kind of information comes out of sensors. We also have inline sensors in the, in the, in the milk flow. Uh, that can measure milk temperature, that can measure uh, different hormones and, and compounds in the milk, uh, that can again tell us things about her, uh, her udder health, uh, tell us things about her metabolic health, uh, and also her reproductive status. Well, I worked for 34 years for the uh, Ontario Ministry of Agriculture as a dairy extension specialist. Uh, retired in 2008, but uh, much too young to, uh, to quit working. And, uh, I was already doing a lot of work then on uh, robotic milking uh, and uh, other precision technologies on dairy farms. Uh, so I set up the Dairy Logics company with, uh, with one partner and the two of us uh, do design work for robotic milking facilities. Uh, and I do a lot of, of speaking and also troubleshooting and so on uh, on a lot of these precision and sensor based systems. Well, I think this really is a, a bit of a quiet revolution. Uh, it's not something that we uh, hear a lot of noise about, but uh, I know if I look today uh, in my own area in Canada, uh, dairy farmer investing in a new milking system is uh, 60, 65 percent of the time he will choose a robot uh, rather than a milking parlor. And I think that trend is starting to happen all over the world. Uh, I'm seeing it in Australia and New Zealand. I'm seeing it in the U.S. It started on smaller dairies, but it's happening now on, on very large dairies as well.